Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm making a Barbados cocktail. So it's essentially like a spicy dark rum daiquiri. It's very simple three ingredient cocktail. It's called a Barbados cocktail, most likely because it has the velvet for learnum, which is from Barbados. And if you wanted to keep it in theme, then you could also use a rum from Barbados, either Foursquare, Dawleys, um, or Mount Gay. Today I'm using a Jamaican rum, I'm using Myers. So I haven't actually tried Velvet Falernum. I haven't been working in bars for many years, but as far as I know, this is not really readily available here in Australia. Uh, anytime it has called for Falernum, um, I've always substituted for uh, Falernum syrup. So I'm gonna do, <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a tasting on camera to, for those of you who don't have a bottle, let you know what the difference is. Another fresh bottle just to live the other day. Oh, that smells spicy and citrusy. Lots of lime to that. Uh, so the Velvet Falernum by John D. Taylor's is 18%, no, 11%. So it's very, very low in alcohol. And the commissary, which is, I believe, made in Melbourne, I'll link to that in the description below. So for anyone in, that's in Australia and is keen to grab a bottle, um, commissary makes other, other syrups as well, and they're very, very good quality. Get a lot of uh, clove and ginger. And lime zest. And then onto the velvet falernum, 11%. Less, less citrusy on the nose. More syrupy, more, more sugary. I think this actually, the commissary one, it's more spice driven. It's got more, more zip to it, more punch, more lime juice. All right. Onto the cocktail, nice and simple, three ingredients. Thanks to Wahen for purchasing the uh, Myers rum. So choose whatever dark rum you'd like. You could use Karuba if you have it. Uh, 45 mil, 1.5 ounces. And then 30 mil, one ounce of velvet for learnum. And I'm pretty sure you could sub this one for one for a falernum syrup. You can also make for them at home as well, nice and easy. I'll, I'll leave a link to the 2A recipe so you can make that if you like. And 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. So fill your shake with ice and give it a shake. and straight, straight into that chilled glass. So the Barbados cocktail or a dark rum spice daiquiri. Cheers. Whoa. That's vibrant. Uh, I really like the, the use of falernum in a daiquiri. Uh, a nice spicy twist to it. You get those extra, it's actually really quite limey. Um, I mean, you've got lime zest, you've got lime juice, I believe in that as well, uh, as well as the fresh lime. But you get those notes of ginger, there's a little bit of tingle on the tongue as well. Okay, I turned the camera off and I had a little bit of a tasting and I thought to myself, why the hell aren't I actually making the one with the commissary? So I give it a side-by-side -side comparison because I really like the, the freshness and the vibrancy of the Falernum syrup. And I thought it's probably gonna make a damn good Barbados version as well. So measure out the same ingredients. I'll just do it nice and quick. Don't keep you guys waiting. So 45. and 
it looks quite similar to me in color, but to me, it seemed like that was sweeter. It had more sugar to it, but that was more vibrant, spicier. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Still, a, it's a damn good drink. I really, I really like it. Um, it's very, very limey, very zesty. So it's so very similar. Um, this tastes a little bit fresher, maybe. Do you want to try? It's the mystery arm off camera. It's a little bit more artificial, syrupy. It's got more funk. This has more funk. Mm. It's it's still good. It's still really good. Don't get me wrong. It's only a very very subtle difference, but you can you can tell the difference um, by utilizing the the commissary uh, for learnum. So I would highly recommend if you're in Australia checking out their website, maybe grabbing a bottle. If not, I'll link to a DIY for learning video or recipe in the description below so you can make it yourself at home because it's actually really easy. Thanks for hanging around. Cheers.